Lebanese Ether Freestyle Drive Season 2, Episode 1. Thank you to everybody who supported the first season. Got 10 episodes up on YouTube right now. Check them out. Dope MCs, dope artists from New York City. Everybody killed it, did their thing. Today for Season 2, Episode 1, got a real special guest, Rusty motherfucking Jux. Yeah. What's going What's on, good, my man? man. How you pleasure. doing? How you doing, What's Rusty Jux? I'm good. All right. We in a BX uh, right now, but you, but you you a Crown Heights dude, right? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You know, right. I, had to, I, I moved up out here and shit, you know no what I mean? My wife from the Bronx and All shit. Right. Well, I mean, Bronx is a home of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's a, you know, it's the right place yeah. for us to jux. So how was it growing up in Brooklyn, man? You from Crown Heights originally? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah, that yeah, when you first started? Man. Yep. And um, I started at like 12 and shit. That's when I started rhyming. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You, you remember your first rhymes or your first lines or whatever you wrote the first time? Man, I remember. I I remember some of my the, uh, you know, like the. First song I recorded and shit. Okay. I don't remember like the first rhyme I ever all written right, and shit. Right. But like the old shit was was crazy too. Like when I even then when I was when I had the new shit, I was you know, around my way I was a little star like Got you. Know you. I mean? They knew they, they knew. They were singing who, that they were, you know, they had that memorized a few of my homeboys and shit. So you, you always went by Rusty Jux? Has that always been your nah, name? Nah, nah, okay. nah. When I actually when I started, my uncle was the one that um he started me with the rhyming and shit. Okay. Cause he, when he came home from jail, he was staying with me and my mom's and my sister for, mm -hmm. for like a year or whatever. And when he came back, you know, I was, that was my uncle. So I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. I was hype about it. You know, he was Bigging such you a, up. yeah, you look man. Up to your he, uncle he, sometimes. You, yeah, you know, man, he was, yeah. he was a real good dude. He's a real good dude, okay. man, to this day, you know. Okay. But he was a rapper. He was, he called himself Rated R. So I, I was calling myself <laughs> Rated X. You know shit. what I'm saying? All right. I was rhyming, you know. And you know, it, at first it wasn't all that shit. He used to tell me like, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. But I remember when I finally stepped it up, and he was like, yo, like, like yo, my nephew, you know what I'm doing saying? Doing this thing, yeah. yeah so I put him on. I told it him was, some it of this was shit. Rated yeah. X. It went from Rated X to Vic Funkster. Vic Funkster. All yeah, right. then, that's what it was for a minute, and then I then it changed it to Rusty Jux. I think like '93. Okay, well, well, how'd you come up with that name, the Rusty Jux name? Yo, yeah, anyway, anyway, actually, yeah. I just came. I remember I was sitting on a stoop. And we was listening to uh, the uh, M.O.P. joint um, and Heather B., um, My Kind of Nigga. And I was okay. thinking of Mad now. I was like, yo, I'm going to change my name to something. And um, I came up with Rusty Juxman. Mm. You know what I mean? Rusty and Juxman. then I changed it from Rusty Juxman. Like, I just, you know, Rusty, Rusty Jux, Jux later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah, dope. that's what that's it dope. was. How old were you when, you when you made that name? I think that was like 15, 16. 15. All right. Something like that. So you started off at 12 years old writing rhymes under Rated X, right? Right, right. right? Mm -hmm. What inspired you besides your uncle? I know your uncle was an influence and, and all that, but what yeah. else What else inspired you at that time to write rhymes? Yo, certain? man, just hip-hop, period. I was a, I was always been a hip-hop fan, like, mm -hmm. since I was little, little, like, three, four. Okay. I, was into, I was into everything that was, you know what I mean? The music, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, I always been singing it and recording it. I was, I was you know... Uh, Molly Mars show, Red okay. Alert, Chuck Chill Out, everybody. I was, you know what I mean? I was into that. So when I started, when I started rhyming, I was just like, oh shit, like I could really, and that, that became my thing, man. I was doing that shit like 24 seven. When did you, you know, when did right. you, when did you know like you wanted to take that shit seriously, seriously, like? Um, Yo, man, since I, <laughs> I think since I first started rhyming, like all right. then, I, 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 you, you knew know, since then, all right. I was like, man, this is what I want to do. So. so you did sign up for, I mean, some some people might know you from the Freestyle Friday joint on, on the BET, the 106 and 4. Right, right. You had that shit. It was a dope show. You know, I'm thinking, oh, I was thinking. Motherfuckers is everywhere. For real. Yeah. <laughs> Passing by the station and whatever. Yeah. So, uh, you know, at that time, I was thinking about it. Like, we don't got shows like that today, like that type of Freestyle Friday. It might be right, online right. or whatever, but nothing like a main station that's promoting artists that are local who are dope, you know? Yeah. What, how did you How did you hear about that? How did you sign up? Yo, my man Prince. He he works with Duck Down and shit, you know. Okay. He hit me up like, yo, I know the dude that um, uh, you know that that gets Putting everybody on okay. on 106 oh, yeah. and Park yeah, and yeah. shit. I could get you on there. First, I was just going up there. I was performing after mm -hmm. somebody performed. It was like Fabulous was up there one okay. time. Okay. And I did a song like to, for the crowd after. And then after that, he was like, yo, next week you could come for the um Freestyle Friday because oh. last week, you know, the um the dude did it seven weeks already. So okay. I was like, all right. And so I came down and did it. You know, that's how that jumped off. That's dope, man. How was that? How how, how was that experience? Did that did that? That get was you good, man. Even even if, even though it went the second week when I lost, yeah, yeah, it was crazy. Cause, yo, just from just from that little bit of time, man, people were seeing me everywhere. Like, yo, you got robbed. Yo, people were seeing me everywhere. Like, yo, 
showing me love, you know, recognizing yeah, when me I watched it, shit. when I watched it, they, they, I, you think know, should, I think you should have won the second week, for real, you know yeah, what I'm saying, I when mean, I watched it, yeah. I was mad at the time, but then I was like, you know what, I'm still doing that shit, though, yeah. you know what I mean, like, nothing to, yeah, that's, propaganda. that's what happens. Yeah. No doubt, man, so uh, that kind of helped bring you to, you know, exposure a little bit at the time, so you was already affiliated with DuckTown? Yeah, Tom? I already had singles, and right. I was already doing my thing when I, when I went up there and shit, you know what I mean, that was just something extra I was trying to do. I was like, yeah, if I could get in this way, it'd be dope yeah, too. You yeah, know what I no mean? Doubt. So it's a battle it still, rap it shit, still yeah. worked out because everybody still remember me from the shit. So. No doubt. I mean, were you, were you, were you, was you doing battle rap before that? Like, was you a... Nah, nah, nah. I, just, I used to battle in the street. Okay. You know what I mean? I used to battle in ciphers all the time. And gotcha. shit. I never used to go to shows battling. You know what I mean? Like on the stage of battling. Right, I used to do, I used to just do my, um, do my set. Gotcha. You know? Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, so you you were you were affiliated with Duck Down before the whole right. Freestyle Friday right. thing. How That's why I went up there. I had yeah. to do, um, duck the boot camp. Yeah, yeah, I remember exactly. Oh. I saw that. Yeah. And they asked me who my favorite MCs is. I told them Buckshot, Sean <laughs> P. No Word. doubt. So uh, how did you get how did you get together with Duck Down and all that? Is it a Brooklyn thing? Is it it's how they saw you performing? They like you know like you know the cats. Like how did that come about? I guess you could say it's a Brooklyn thing too because. Okay. Um, I, I, I had a manager at, at one time and shit. I was like um, 17 or 18 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I was doing my thing with the music and um, his name is Erwin. He's Rock's cousin. Okay. So he was like, yo, you know, I'm going to introduce you to um, Help the Skelter. See if I, they working on their second album, Magnum Force and shit. And I was like, all right, bet. Hell yeah. You know, I was already a big fan of them. Like, mm -hmm. Buckshot. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... So he did, he, he brought Sean P through, through my way, around okay. my way and shit. And this nigga came through with his foot out the window and shit. <laughs> Man, cool, he had cut his dreads and shit by then. All right. And so, you know what I mean, I met him and shit, and I was spitting for him, and he, you know what I mean, we clicked from there. That's crazy. And, um, you know, he was bringing me to studios, you know what I mean, when, was, no. when they was recording the album, mm -hmm. I got on the um, title track, Magnum Force. Okay. Featuring the representatives, and, um, and gangs all hit. And um, you know, with like that's that's like a nine minute joint. Mm -hmm. And um and then since then I was just doing all types of collabs with you know, with boot camp duck down. Man. Dope man. I mean yeah, I mean you bringing up the Sean Price R. I. P. It's like yeah. I saw Pete Rock post that recently. It was like that's Yeah. That that's that's that piece right there. Sean oh, P. So I saw Pete Rock posted something on IG recently saying, yo, Sean Price always told me to work with Rusty Jugs. Yeah, he Fuck told me. Rusty yeah. Yeah, he yeah. told me that mad times, man. See like Sean P looked out for me like a motherfucker before he was going, and he's still looking out for me. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing, man. That's dope, Word. man. That's dope. So, uh, you dropped a bunch of albums when you was, you know, after the whole freestyle shit and everything. I know you, you had some singles before that. Yeah. What, you know, and you shot a whole bunch of videos there on Duck Down. You can check them out online and all that. What's, what, what was your first official album that you dropped that you was like, I'm, I'm like... My first album was Indestructible. Indestructible. Yeah, that was my first album, and um, that was 2008, and um, that's another thing, he, was, he spoke, Sean P was spoke to Buckshot, mm -hmm. um, Drew and them, and um, Buckshot came to me, and he was like, yo, you know, you want to work on the album now? And I was like, like word? Song, like, I was like, oh, nice. yeah, hell yeah. 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 So we, we spoke about it, and then I started putting it together. I just mm -hmm. started, that time it was the MySpace thing, so I was hollering at producers, like, yo, send me yeah, shit. Yeah. Niggas sending me beats from all over. Okay. I put that shit together, and I, I was recording on um, Dan the Man's studio, on 30th, mm -hmm. and um, knocked that shit out, and then Buck was like, ah, you sure you finished? I was like, yeah, man. It was good, and, um, you know, they titled it Sean Price Presents Rusty Jooks mm. Indestructible. Mm. So, you know what I mean? He put that stamp on it so it yep, could get, because yeah. my name wasn't known yet. That's to get it on the shelf. Got you. You know what I'm saying? So, and then after that, I was good money. That's dope. That's dope. How was the, how was the reception? Like, how, how, how will you know what your first I album mean, it was? I mean, it was dope, man. It wasn't, you know, I I wasn't expecting to go um, uh, multi-platinum mm -hmm, and shit. Mm -hmm. I was wanting to get my shit out there. Well, yeah. You already know me from numerous freestyles, mm -hmm, numerous features. Mm -hmm. And um, my own singles and shit. Now you getting to hear the whole album. You getting to know Rusty Jook. So no doubt, yeah. That that was it right there. That's all I was. I wanted to get there. You know what I mean? And he already took me all over the world, like touring with him and shit. So a lot of it, those yeah. places, they know about me. So when my album is coming, they ready. You know what I mean? Where, so, where, where's your favorite place? To, where's your favorite place to tour? Is there a certain place that you go there and they always going to buck wild to see you? I mean, you? yo, in Europe is crazy, right. man. In Europe is all is always crazy, you know, especially France. All my friends shows be crazy, dope, dope, yeah. but um, just all over, man. I love it. I love, I love everywhere, man. 
Canada. Canada is always, yeah, right. man. Um, I know you went to Japan too, right? Yeah, Japan was fucking crazy, All man. Right. I had five sold out joints Shit. out of the seven shows I had. And that was oh. my first time I had seven shows in Japan. That's amazing, you know. And different, each one different parts of Japan. I mean, do you think, you know, it's like... I was really, I was really like... That, and I had just came off the tour with um, King Magnetic. So okay. I was, that was good. Like, that last dope, year was dope. real good, man, after uh, Media Right. That was, that was the most recent... Yeah, album, yeah, the that, media right album. Right. Yeah, we're gonna play something off of it. So at that time, I mean, you know, you was touring and everything. You got your name out there. You got the last album. What do you, do you think? Do you think that fans? Why do you think fans in other countries love that hip hop? You know, quote unquote real hip hop. You know, compared to like U.S. fans. Is that is that true? Know. You would I, say you is know, that true? Or, or? I, I don't I don't know. I guess um. That's what they started listening to. That that's how they got familiar with hip hop, listening mm -hmm. to the raw shit and okay. the real shit. And um, you know, a lot of them say that. But you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of European fans that fucks with the the, the, um, the new shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that you know those artists tour over there too. Of so course. they got fans definitely, over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not everybody. You know what I no mean? No doubt. No and doubt. And to each his own. So that's, that's, that's it's just dope. I'm just glad that I got my fan base out there. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. Word. It's just you hear that a lot. You hear a lot of artists. They go to Europe and it's sold out shows, packed shows. Motherfuckers right. know word for word. Yeah. It's like it's like it just you know. I mean, but yeah, it, I'm, I'm happy for that, man. Cause no it's doubt. a it's a you know some people think that it's just the main. If you ain't in the mainstream, you ain't on. And it's a lot of underground rappers that's big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, they, yeah. And they eating. They eating. Yeah. They just you might not hear them on the local Take radio. Take care of their family. Whatever. You know what I mean? No doubt. That's the thing. I mean, do you think hip hop has changed compared to you growing up, you know, in Brooklyn, listening to, like I said, Marty Mon and just, you know, Red Alert or, you know, whatever DJ you're listening to at the time and, and compared to today where, like, you don't, you really hear the same artists on the station on, on rotation, not hitting on anybody, but right. just like, it's just like, is it different in your opinion? Yeah, but you know what? That's, and everything changes. Everything's supposed to change. It's supposed okay. to evolve. You know what? When you listen, don't listen to the radio. You know what I mean? It's, you can listen to Sirius FM, you can mm -hmm. listen to a lot of different shit. You can just listen to whatever artist that you like. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So Go straight to the artist. Go yeah, yeah. You could go, yeah, you yeah. could, you could, people be saying, it's no more conscious. Like, you know how many dope conscious rappers is no out? No doubt. Yeah, like, if no. you don't want to hear that street, that street, you listen to that. Or listen, you know what I mean? So it's, it's all out there, man. It's options everywhere. So I got you. Everybody's yeah. good. I guess just some of the New York cats get a little frustrated because it's like you put on a New York station and you hear the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right, it's right, like, right. Why can't a New York I used artist to, you know, you know, but if it is what it is, yeah, you gotta, got you know you. what I mean? It's like it's old news now. Like, yeah. It's like, what are we supposed to do and shit? But, uh, I mean, but you still you still have like the late night shows that will, that will have dope artists on and freestyle and all that shit. You know, you get, you get the little yeah. love once in a while. So, you also get pretty political on your page, on your Instagram page. For those who want to follow Rusty Jux, it's Rusty underscore motherfucking underscore, underscore Jux. Jux. Rusty motherfucking Jux on Instagram. Word up. You get pretty political on there too. I mean, you know. Yeah. The, the, you I know. mean, <coughs> I just be, I just try to touch on the facts, man, and I don't try to. I'm just unapologetic with it. You know what I'm uh, saying? Because yeah. it is what it is, man. Like. Do you feel it's important to discuss these issues and and right. you know bring and, them and out? Right, and that's what. And I'm and I'm um my new album is gonna be all about that. You know okay, what I'm saying? Wow. Cause you know I'm 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 older and I'm realizing, you know, as an artist, this is you know just like Nina Simone was saying, like this is it's our duty to um to speak about the time. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's going on? Cause people gonna listen to 2017 mm -hmm. and uh, and to 2020 and be like, what was going on? And then they hear a bunch of bullshit. They don't really know what's what what's the real. Happening. You know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta yeah. speak on it. Even though a song might not change everything, but it's gonna get it out there, that energy. You know what I'm saying? You might influence some of the cats Word. listening to it. Yeah, yeah, like yo, that shit is real. Um, you know, with the luxury. And people Trump need and to that. know a lot of things. It's a lot of things to be said. Like hip hop, that's what I love about that shit. Like it's you could never say there's nothing else to talk about. I could read up on something and then come up with a, a, a ill song, yeah, be like yeah. boom. And that's you know that's what I'm doing on this new album. So. Okay, is there a name for well, the new album? Is there a name? I didn't I ain't titled okay. it yet. This right. the, the joint I'm working on with with Pete Rock and shit. Dope, so, dope. Yeah. Any idea when it's gonna drop or the first single? Any idea? Any nah, hints? Nah, not really. Cause I got <laughs> right. yo right now I got like six, seven projects. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Yeah. And um, we did a joint called um. Black Fist. Yeah, that's, that's the shit one with crazy. the video. I saw, you know what I'm saying? Y'all shot a video so, for that, right? No, nah, no, nah, we ain't oh, shoot a video. Oh, okay. I just did a little Instagram. Okay, joint. okay, okay. And um, but um, 
Yeah, man. When we when we come out with that shit, it's gonna be serious. But I'm gonna I'm let these joints drop, set shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's on solo joints or collaborative. Yeah, joints I got or? collaborative joints, right. solo joints. Like right now, I'm getting ready to drop a joint called International Jokes. And what that is, is I'm I'm doing song. Every song is featuring my fans. You know what I'm saying? I got a song what? with two Italian dudes. They shit. rhyming in Italian and shit. You know, this is crazy. the beat is done by a dude from um, Poland. You know okay. what I'm saying? And then okay. I got a song with two African dudes. One from Senegal. One from Nigeria. Like that's, it's 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 international jokes. So, you know, everybody on there is gonna shine. If I do the video, they will shoot their part. Shoot, you yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, put it together. So that's... I'm 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 getting ready to set oh, this shit. one up, man. Like that's I don't think concept. nobody ever did that I before. I haven't heard that so before. That's a you, dope they don't idea. care to do no joints with rappers. With and you know, and they be like, exactly. come on, these niggas corny and yeah, shit. Yeah. A lot of people sent me whack shit because I, I had them step it up. <laughs> and yo, the shit work, man. So you put and a, I'm going to do put another volume of this bitch, too. So you put a call in now? You're like, yo, what's I got some fans? joints on there, man. Yeah, I was doing it for a minute. I mean, I you, told, you told your fans, like, like, yo, you a fan of Rusty? You want to be, be on this project? You an international Right, skate, right. right? And people was hitting me up. They were sending me beats. They were sending me the verses That's to the sick. on the beat and body and shit. Like, I, I got this shit. girl from Lebanon. Oh, shit. Lebanese. Oh, man. She, 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 she right? bodied this shit. What's um, her name? What's her name? Her name is um, Malika. Oh, Ma uh, um, Malika. Malika. No, I know who that is. I know who she is. The artist, you know, from back home. Yeah, she is. Nice. No, she's ill. She's ill. She bodied that shit. Like, I got... UK, shit, I gotta hear that joint. French, like, trust me, man. Malika, yeah, yeah, shout Stupid. out to Malika, no doubt. Um, that shit is a great idea. That's Spanish that. rappers, you know what I mean? Right? I was gonna tell you, like, yo, you need an Arab verse. Well, you got the Arab verse. That shit is mm. sick. That shit is sick, and she spits in Arabic and shit. Um, that, I mean, that's that's a beautiful thing about the internet is how you can just connect straight up with, with people around the world and be right. like, yo, let's come up with some dope. If you have a dope idea like you did with international jokes, right? You come up with a dope concept like that. Right. That, that was really creative. Jeez. What inspired Jeez. you to do that? Like, why why did you do that? Why weren't you selfish? I wanted to, like, I wanted to do something different, like. All right. From all my albums and shit, and I wanted to do something with the fans to really connect with everybody. And you know they're gonna be like, yo, I'm on track seven. That shit yeah. gonna go everywhere. Everybody that's on it that gonna promote is, it. You know especially what I'm saying? if you got different languages on it. That yeah, shit is sick. Yeah. yeah, 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 no doubt. And, you know what I mean? And everybody on the same concept, so stupid, man. All right, that's, that's a great idea, man. I'm look, definitely looking forward to that. International jokes. You know, you're dropping a whole bunch of, sh you know. So you're gonna be a little bit more political on this album. I mean, you've always mm -hmm. been you've always been creative in your music. You never always just touch one subject matter. You know, you have like the Water on Mars joint. Songs about weed, songs about Brooklyn shit, songs are just about, you know. I had a lot of conscious joints on my okay. albums too. Okay. And um, everybody just, you know, they think about the, the other joints, but I got, like my first album, I had Optimistic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I ended off the second um, the second album uh, um, with Marco Polo, The Execution. Um, okay. The joint. Um, That's the one you shot a video for? Was one of like, them? I'm trying to make it so my kids and my family stay right. That, that joint with me, I was talking about my sister and everything mm -hmm. growing up. Okay. Like, I, on every album, I, I touched on certain things and shit, you know what I mean? I never went full different. blast, but I've, that's, I've always talked about, you know, what's going on. Gotcha, yeah, man. But, but do you think it's annoying to get that conscious label? Because once you make, like, that one, you know... Nah, because I'm not claiming to be nothing. I'm not claiming to know it all. Mm -hmm. And, like, I've read every book. I'm just, you know, s stating the facts and, and saying... I want to. I want to make music that's gonna empower my people and okay. and um, you know, make them feel good and shit. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Instead of all of this, I want to make some good music right now. Word. All right. You want to get into one of your joints? Let's get. Yeah, man. Let's all do right, it. All right. Got a couple of your, you know joints from old and new. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with. The, we'll start off with the. Fuck Rusty Jokes? Yeah. Why'd you, why'd you name it Fuck Rusty Jokes? Who was hating on Rusty Jokes at the time? <laughs> Nobody, man. Right. I just heard the greats do it before, but you love me like Red Bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got gotcha, you. People love to say that shit, you know what I mean? Right, <coughs> so you named it Fuck Rusty Jokes, you shot the official video for it. Yeah. Oh, that's an intro. Dudes by Kayo and Tachi and shit. All right. Fuck Rusty Jokes, that nigga ain't shit. Huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, third, third take the charm. Yo, from start to finish, I diminish. The way I break a record, put me in the book of Guinness. 
smoking on spinach, no with no limits. Rappers nowadays whole style be a gimmick, but I'm so royal, you can call me elite. All I do is win, nigga, never face defeat. On another plateau, we got a low rap flow. Niggas heard a bomb, thought I let my gap blow. Then they heard loud in the background. Brooklyn the Queens Bay area and back down. So swift, glide like wings on the eagle. Used to sell them hard white things to my people. Now I rock arenas, sold out stadiums. Pockets so thick, I can carry two ATMs. Spectacular, simply marvelous, indestructible, nigga. Who you know hardest is? Niggas say fuck rust and jerks. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. Say fuck rust and jerks. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga named back to the subject. All I do is wreck shot. Yeah. Get your leg all chest in your neck shot. Call me Robert Downey, cause I back that high man. When I let all bullets and body go be flying, man. I'll be on my bullshit. Diarrhea PC, you constipated. Welfare free cheese flow so incredible. Bruce Banner style though. Wipe off your smile, whole rap beef generator. Ill style innovator, acid on track. Great beat disintegrator, million dollar dreaming, billion dollar scheming. About to make it cause I got a trillion dollar team. And take money, money is the motherfucking motto. Your head's like a baseball glove catching hollow. That's real talk. Make no mistake about it, kill a cartel. Ain't nothing fake about it. I heard a nigga say fuck rusty jerks. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. Fuck rusty jerks. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. That nigga ain't shit. That shit is crazy. Fuck Rusty Jokes. <laughs> Not really fuck Rusty Jokes. I didn't even saw him, motherfuckers. That shit was dope concept, man. I like that. That shit always rock at the show and shit. I be like, yo, y'all niggas really made that shit, right? Because <laughs> it gets a little awkward because motherfuckers are shouting, are shouting fuck Rusty Jokes, man. And they be like, that nigga ain't shit. <laughs> I be like, yeah. That shit is a dope. That shit is hot. Yeah, man. So uh, right. what album was that off of? Was that off of? That was on Hard Body Hip Hop, man. I'm on my, this going to be my eighth album when I drop. Damn, um, nice. International Jokes, you know what I'm saying? So the inter- is the International Jokes coming out before the P-Rock shit, or is that part of yeah, the Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's, that's before, that's it's separate, before, that's separate. Yeah. yeah, 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 it's gonna yeah. be a separate, so International Project, and right. then, you get your, then you're gonna have the solo shit afterwards that, 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 that mm-hmm. you spoke about, all right, no doubt. So how many joints are gonna be on the International Jokes? Any idea? I think it's 14 or 15. Oh, wow, okay, full, full album then. Word. Nice, nice, that shit is crazy. About 14 joints. That's dope. International right. shit, yeah, man. Shit, crazy, man. Really, really, um, proud of this album and shit, and everybody that did their thing on this shit. I'm sure it's gonna right. be hot. I'm, I'm excited already, man. I want to hear all, all the international verses. Cause sometimes you hear cats spit in other languages, you might not necessarily understand. Yo, what man, saying, but it I could tell dope. if you could rhyme. Yeah. When I hear that flow, and <laughs> it was you. flowing like she was the way she came in, shorty from Lebanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, the, ah. I mean, look at the, the salt shop, some shit. I was yeah, like, yeah. damn, <laughs> like, yo, I come on, man. I perform all over, so I had, I heard dope MCs mm-hmm. in Japan. They, you know what I mean? Like, I know how it is, man. That's I cool. know that's when when they hear that shit over there, they're gonna be like, damn, and he did a joint with Jokes. Like, yeah, that's dope. Exactly, exactly. Now, you're gonna be putting on Mad Cats, yo. Mad straight, local, man. Mad International Cats gonna be. I got, a, I got another album called King of Crown Heights coming out. Okay. Produced by my man Radicus. All, you know what I'm all saying? Radicus, he's a, he's one another, producer? All yeah, just, producer? yeah nice. just one producer. That's why I be doing a lot of one producer albums. Got you. Another one with a, um, with my man Bill Blagan. He's from Minneapolis. Mm-hmm. And that's on some more of that Minneapolis type of flow, okay. murder rap. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know what I mean? I, it's, it's a lot of joints that's coming, man. It's serious shit. So you working, uh, shit. You constantly in the studio. Yeah, and I, and I just got this shit set up in my crib. All so right. I'm, I'm hype right now. I'm just nope. fucking with it. Cool, man. So, uh, yeah, definitely everybody should look out for it. And they should just follow your Instagram page mm-hmm. to, to be up to date on what's going on, you know? Rusty underscore motherfucking underscore Jux. J-U-X-X. Yep. So, anything else you want to announce about, about like, you know, any shows coming up, anything like that, tours, anything, or is you waiting to drop the stuff before you, before you hit the road? Yeah, yeah, we get, um, we, me and my man Rock getting ready to hit the road with Mike Hands soon. Um, I got another European tour coming up, okay. you know what I mean? I'm trying to get this, um, finish this, um, International Jukes tour. Mm-hmm. And, um, so once I get that straight, once so I get gonna that So you're going to do a tour based on the, you're going to do a tour based yeah, on the International Jukes? Yeah, man, definitely. Oh, shit. Yeah, me and Kayo Tachi got another album with my man Miles Grimes. It's called Killer Cartel. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know what I mean? So I'm going to be, I'm going to be moving, man, once these shits drop. I got a lot of shit in the making, a lot of shit, uh, I got done already, so... 
just I'm just ready, ready for the shit to start launching. All right, let's talk about something that's in the news right now: the whole Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj uh -huh. <laughs> rap battle. Since mm -hmm. you know, since you got a history in, in, Yo, in the yeah. battle game, we used to talk about that shit in the crib. <laughs> Everybody's talking about that shit. So what do you think? You think Nikki's gonna come back with a with a response? What, what's, I don't know if uh, she is. What do you think about the sheet though? That shit was murder, man. <laughs> she went in fucking what six, seven minutes yeah. straight. Oh my god. That shit was murder. That shit was yeah. That shit was crazy. I don't know if she was. Yeah. We man. always knew we know Remy could spit, but she went damn. That shit was a body man. I mean, I'm going to see. <laughs> I'm waiting to see if Nicki's gonna respond, but I'm not sure if it's gonna. She you know. always been that that um female rapper that got me like, damn, like, you know, certain verses, a lot of verses she did in songs, like I was like, damn. Who you talking about? Remy. Remy, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now she came, she came for her head, yo, damn. Serious. You wanna get into another one of your joints? Let's do it. Uh, uh, Water on Mars. Let's go. Water on Mars. Featuring what? my nigga Rem. What was Water on one Mars based villains. on? What was more Water on Mars based on? Water on Mars, I just, you know, thinking of another um, another type of astrological concept for the album and shit. And I was like, yeah, they talking about this Water on Mars and shit. Okay. So I, I just ripped on that. You went on it. Let's do it. Video. New wrinkle in the saga of Water on Mars has revealed itself. Yeah. Rusty Jerks. Uh. They say it's water on Mars where the acid rains. I took a tote, smoking some bubastic strain. I took a trip to the red planet. There was a dust storm. I had my car hearts champion and chucks on. The atmosphere was too thin. Plus, primarily, open dioxide was all I was breathing in. This world was smaller than Earth with two moons. I only came strapped with a nine and two goons. Meeting with the Martian Mafia, the Capo. We talking planetary guns and guapo. Property and land. Planetary conquest. Yeah. We can feed. We're killing like a contest. Green men, red women in the ocean. At the bottom or they floating. You just discovered how I slaughter on bars. I knew since '82 that there was water on Mars. With the bars, shitting out. Yeah. Like water on Mars. Flipping over cars, shooting down stars. Uh, keep it fresh, like bars. Hey yo. Yeah. Flowing like water on Mars, flipping over cars, shooting down stars. stars. Keep it fresh, like water on Mars. You think there's some aliens up there? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, we can't be the motherfucking only life. You know what I mean? That's in this huge guy. In this huge. Why? Why not? I mean, you know, you never know. Cause I saw you address some of those topics, you know, some of the political topics on your page, also some of the religious topics. Yeah. Do you get some heat for for some of your opinions? I like, mean, like I don't <laughs> even give a fuck. You know what I mean? Cause I'm not tagging nobody in nothing in, in my shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. not telling nobody follow me. I'm not pushing no sh no subject on somebody. I'm just saying what I fucking feel. So. No doubt. No doubt. You don't like it. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, Everybody get to feel their own way. They just, they, they don't like when somebody just, you know what I mean? Expresses their opinion. They like, yo, I liked you before, man, when you <laughs> were just talking about shooting niggas and shit. Now you talking about, the government. Ah, now you don't like me and shit. Like, all right, now you, you talk, ain't never like me, Yeah, man. yeah. That, motherfuckers always looking for something. Fuck. They're looking for something to bitch about to have a reason why they're, they're hating, you know? Niggas like, like, yo, yo. Your, your whole your page is anti-white. I said my shit ain't oh anti-white. I can't love my blackness. I can't. Once you start doing that, it's like yo, like you know what I mean. You like what kind of fan were you in the first place? You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, nigga. This is me. How you fucking anti-white? You got all these white fans loving your shit all over the place. You know? Listen, man, I got a whole bunch of uh, white artists and um, homeboys, people in the industry that I deal with, and they know what it is. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's they ain't coming to me saying to me, yo, 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 because they know the fucking truth. I'm not saying nothing racist. This is facts. No doubt. And that's the fuck is you talking that's, about. It's a difference, man. That's the other, I mean, that's all the that's the bad thing. About and how dare you accuse me of the shit you be fucking exactly. doing? Exactly. Like, get the fuck exactly. out of here with that in the first place. I mean, that's the only, that's the other, that's a bad thing I guess about the, the only the inter internet is motherfuckers anonymous motherfuckers constantly commenting giving this shitty opinion. I don't even things. yo listen. I don't even <laughs> yo. I blocked the shit out of this. <laughs> like oh. I better have a black party. <laughs> that's a dope. That's a good name for it. <laughs> black party. Shit. Get the fuck out of my page. 
So I mean, I mean, it's just ridiculous because you've all, I've seen your page where you're critical of the government in general. You're critical of Republicans and Democrats. You, you were critical of the Obama administration. I know things right. are horrible with Trump now, but it's like you 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 was you was kind of across the board. You was kind of across the board. Yeah. I right. See. What about that? What about your opinions on Obama? <laughs> some some motherfuckers like, yo, that's our first black president. I'm criticizing. Did you get some of that too? Actually, it's not. But <laughs> look, right. and I mean, you know. He, the president, whoever the president is, he's gonna be the fucking puppet, man. The president ain't in control of shit. Mm -hmm. You gotta, represent you gotta really, issues, really yeah. know who's in control, who running shit in America, who running shit in the fucking world. Man, come on, it's bigger than that. What do you think about this whole Trump presidency and his win? I mean, it's just some other shit motherfuckers just gonna go through. Did you I mean, think he ain't was, nothing you to think do he was, about did it. Did you think he was going to win last year when it was all happening? I didn't know. I, I know either one. Yeah. Whoever got in yeah. that motherfucker, I ain't give a fuck. Yeah, I wasn't going to like it, so. Yeah, no doubt. I wasn't a fan hey, of it. Hey, none of them was going to do shit for the black people and, and do nothing for my community. No doubt. None of them, none of the fucking African-American community. So. Exactly. They, they none of these, anybody that would have got in there. I don't wasn't believe gonna make none a huge difference. Yeah, I got you, man. That's a debate going on now with all the Hillary stands. You know, they mad at everybody who ain't back Hillary and shit. Yeah, yeah whatever. But yeah, man, I want to get into this <coughs> next joint, which is you, you shot a video. It's with is it DJ Low Cut? Is that who it yeah, is? DJ yeah, yeah, my man from France. Where'd y'all shoot that video? That video was. Yeah, we sick. shot that in um. Is that Five Points? Yeah, we shot that. In That's not Five Points, was Brooklyn it? Brooklyn or Queens? We shot that in um. Cause like that building yeah, with the graffiti. I really shot that shit. I think it was in Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. Damn, it was Brooklyn or Queens, but we shot yeah, that yeah, shit in yeah. an ill spot, man. And, that um, shit was ill, yeah. My man Nusso came out, we bodied that shit, we bodied the joint, and then he, you know, I mean, he shot so the video. We shot it like in the summertime, and it just, it just, just dropped, dropped like, recently. Because yeah. I used the drones and all that he shit, right? He just dropped the album. Yeah, man, he had that shit. That shit was dope. The drones was crazy. The different I shot a few shots. videos with that drone shit. Yeah. So, uh, what album is that off of? That's off Low Cut's album. Yeah, that's on his joint. His joint. He got an yep. album with just DJ Low Cut. His album, You Are Nick with Nutso, the verse. You know, right, right. Yeah, that together. was a feature. That shit was or, dope. Let's play your verse, man. That shit is sick. There you go. Definitely appeal to check out the fucking video. Lyrical Landslide, Rusty yeah. Jux, DJ Low Cut, Rusty Jux, and Nutso. <laughs> Catch a heart attack, empty out of 49 and clip in your starter cap. Y'all shot that a while ago, but released a video recently. Yeah, man, hell yeah. That yeah. shit came out fire. That shit man. came out sick, man. I was just watching the other day on the big screen and everything. I was like, yo, these guys just did a good job with the drones and all that. The different Word. angles. You got the top shot. You know, everything. You know, that shit was creative, man. That shit was dope. Yeah, the yeah. Lyrical landslide. Yeah. That shit is hot. So, I mean, you do a lot of collaborative joints, too. I see yeah, yeah. Know, different records that you, that you jumped on and killed it and shit. Right. Who, I mean... You've also had lots of artists featured on your projects, like you've had yeah. already the Rugged Man and shit like that, and, right. you, and, and that song. Who who is who is like who is artists that you kind of collaborated with regularly? Like you, I've seen like you know like like Keo Itachi is one of them. I've seen his name in a lot of your records. Was he, um, is, is he, he produces and rhymes, or he's just a producer? Nah, he's he's just a producer. He's a producer. Okay, okay. Yeah, um, you know I don't know. I, I not nobody really regularly yeah. like um. 
but I've did a, a few projects with, with a lot of people I deal with, you know, mm -hmm. more than once and shit, you know okay, what I mean? Uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of people that's family and shit, you know what I mean? So, like I would say boot camp, camp and shit, yeah. yeah, I did a lot of more joints with them than with anybody with Sean. Gotcha. And um and with my with my homeboys from Crown Heights and shit, okay. Bangkok family, you know mm -hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. Dope, dope, man. So uh you did you also released The Sean Lives On, right? The Sean C the Sean Pricey. Universal Sean. Sean. Yeah. It was like the video y'all shot in front of the mural in Brooklyn. Right. All right. So I mean he was obviously very influential and y'all was yeah, partners. Definitely, and man, yo. Sean Sean P was the big brother I never had, seriously. Like Sean he, you know what I mean? It was, it was, it was more than with rap music with him. You know what I'm saying? That was my brother, and he, um, you know what I mean? He taught me a lot about the music without even teaching me, like just watching. You know what I mean? Seeing shit, how, how I handle this shit now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I learned a lot. So you know what I mean? I'm grateful for that shit. God, you can, Word, tell, you can tell us any dope Sean Price stories. I mean, the original one he told us, he came through with the car with his feet up. That sounds like that sounds like Sean. <laughs> that sounds like Sean P. Yo, he, man, like. I remember one time we had a we had a show in like uh, <clears throat> it was in Spain. It was Lugo. It wasn't Lugo. It was um, Madrid or some no, it was Barcelona or some shit, right? We in we over there, and uh, we had a show. First of all, we walk in the show with some big ass fucking Marmaduke dog and shit in the fucking oh, inside shit. the Marmaduke. place. And he was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, he was like, yo, get that shit. He went crazy with that shit. I'm gonna lock that big ass fucking horse up. Shit. So, you know what I mean? The show was dope. We was we was up there getting busy later and shit on on stage and shit. And um, I guess somebody was on the side doing something, saying something to him, and put his middle finger up. So he was like, "Fuck you too." And then like that shit erupted. Like the it, the security oh. in the place was fucking um was was the fucking biker gang. Um, what the fuck was these niggas? Um. Spanish um, gang. Damn, what the fuck? It was Hell's Angels, some Hell's type of shit like yeah, that, yeah. right? And I was like, yo, so you already know we can't trust these niggas. They with these niggas. So it was a bunch of, it was like a hundred of them motherfuckers on the side, like, yo, rah! So we did the show and shit, and then, you know, after the shit, it was about to be something, but then they all, they came up and shit, and Duke, you know, we talking to Sean, me, and his girl was up there and shit. She getting into it. I'm like, yo, this. Yo, this shit was crazy, but you know what I mean? The shit, the shit got Almost smoothed into a out. Almost yeah, the shit got riot, smoothed out. Right? Yo, but Sean P, man, he the realest dude, man. One time we was in Italy, and um, so dude, he called me a, uh, uh, he's like, you fucking, um, a moolie. He called me a moolie and okay. shit, and he bust a bottle on a fucking um, street pole and shit. I was like, what the fuck? So yo, so I'm, I'm getting ready to get into it with this nigga, and Sean came out. And um, he was like, yo, he telling him he want to fight the dude. Then he want to fight the other dude. <laughs> and then he was like, yo, he was telling the guy that was that we was with, the um, the promoter and yeah, shit. Yeah. Yo, tell him like, like this, so let's go over here and fight and yeah. shit. And one of the dudes was like, yo, we could get naked and fight over him. He was like, what? what? Some crazy shit, right? <laughs> so, yo, I, when the nigga went to grab something else, a dude went to grab something. I went to grab something from a table outside. It was outside. Mm -hmm. It was like 3 in the morning mm -hmm. after the show. And, and the, the Italian nigga snatched that shit like the fuck out of here. Like you ain't getting my I was like, oh, you bitch ass nigga. Oh shit. Yo. But then the police came, these motherfuckers had their shit out already, like some, you know, they just be like that. Yeah, yeah. And um they told them in Italian that somebody was fucking with us and they left. Okay. So they ain't, you know what I mean? And then we just I said, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. So it's on, almost try to be locked up abroad. Yeah, crazy, man. You know what I mean? But Sean P, man, he, he he's a funny, he was a funny dude, man, real life, man. He always had me in tears. Like every time, you don't want to go at him too hard because he going to finish you, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, so, you know what I mean? That was my dude, man. So there is a new Sean Price album dropping. Yeah, is that, is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. It's gonna be he's it's gonna be all his verses or him and other cats or. You gotta you gotta you gotta hear that album. Right. See, you gotta wait for that album. All right, man. definitely, man. Definitely can't it's wait crazy. for it. Definitely. Perry's Rex. The Perry's Rex. All right. So, uh, future project international jokes. That's the main one. You know, people should look out for right now until yeah. until your solo official official solo album comes out. Wow. Anything. 
dropping in like the next couple of weeks that we can let people know? Is it still too early? Anything, you know, any, any Yo. singles, any videos that just gonna come out? I'm, of getting, ready, I'm getting ready to shoot a, a video for Galaxy Goon, and that's off of media right that's now. Off I'm media getting ready, right. I shot a few videos that's getting ready to drop, so I'm gonna just let them. So the Water on Mars, the Water shit. on Mars was off the media right album. Right, okay. and, and this, this new Galaxy Goon is the last video I'm gonna shoot off of that. But I'm, I've been wanting to get this one in, like, mm -hmm. um, it's the same um, director from Water on Mars. What so. about Rusty's Comet? Rusty's Comet, yeah. I shot that in Toronto. You shot that in Toronto, yeah. all right. And that's off the Media Right album too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to get into that joint? Should we get yeah, into let's the do it. Yeah, let's do the media. That's one of my joints yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yo, the video's sick too, man. Yo, let me see your hands in the air like this You blessed to be here as I share my gift Put it in the air as I flare my pip And let's get it Let me see your hands in the air like this You blessed to be here as I share my gift Put it in the air as I flare my pip And let's get it Then the Haley's Comet Sick with the wordplay, spit that vomit the buzz is so astronomic I still put a bullet through the bitch blue bonnet Hot crime, summer in the city No remorse, no mercy, and no pity Make moves violently, more silently Night and armor ride out so gallantly You don't wanna play the game of thrones My angle is to strangle clones and burn cities down Destroy and rebuild a new nation yeah. I'm the real McCoy, you an imitation yeah. A miscalculation on your part I'm worldwide touring, still drawing that raw art Masterpieces, priceless poetry When they say that nigga hard, you know it's me Jokes, baby hands in the air like this As I share my gift Put it in the air as I flare my pimp And let's get Hey yo, let me see your hands in the air like this as I share my gift, put it in the air as I flare my fifth, and let's get it. Yo, 10,000 meters above sea level, a Tasmanian married to a she devil, Kush chief, and I'm higher than a Pegasus. Can't stop, won't stop burning, and I never quit. Uh, pull a bitch like a hamstring. Free yeah. hoes, we be doing the damn thing. Relax yourself, set your conscience free. You now rocking with the sounds of the VIC. Script the ill soliloquy. Savage symphony. Give a cartel. Ain't your average entity. Superior intellect. Check the technique. Gun talk, homie. I let the sketch speak. Harsh words do disgust in the stomach. Increasing my pay while my peers just plummet. Deep as the abyss. Dead as a doorknob. Stop worrying by mine and get on your job. Like this. As I share my gift. As I flare my pith, and let's get it. Let me see your hands in the air like this. As I share my gift, put it in the air as I flare my pith, and let's get it. Yeah. yeah. Rusty's Comet, mm -hmm. off the media, right? Word up. So you shot that in Toronto. You he was Hell out there yeah. performing, he was like, let's get this video done, or you were yeah, out there so recording? Yeah, so every time I get somewhere else, I'm like, yo, you know, matter of fact, I might as well shoot something out here. Like, when I was, when I was in Japan, I shot the video yeah, for Nebula. Yeah, I saw Nebula. the video, yeah, I saw I did video. that shit, so it was like... So you try to be as productive as yeah, possible? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, get all these yeah. joints done off the album if I could. No doubt. <laughs> any words, any, anything you want to say to, you know, artists who was watching this right now, who was... You know, trying to, trying to... Yo, man, I'm, yo, I'm gonna say salute to all the artists that's out there working, man, and, and, and putting that shit out and not giving a fuck what nobody else think, you know what I mean? Keep doing you. All the, all the artists want to come up, man, just be original. Be original, and, and that's the money, and, and be determined, you know what I mean? You'll never give up. Do your own thing, man. You don't have to be... Rolling with the motherfucking, with rolling with the rush, rolling with the, riding that wave and shit. You know what I mean? That's what that's what sells. The new shit. You know what I mean? All the time, some shit always changes. So, you know what I mean? Salute the and and salute to all the artists I rock with. You know what I mean? On the underground and shit. So, well, ready to get you ready to get into the freestyle? Drop a couple beats. You, you let me see. Let me down. see. Let me <laughs> see what I got. Um. I'm gonna put on the beat though. Let it go. Alright. Yeah. Lebanese ether. 
Freestyle Drive with Rusty motherfucking Jux. Yeah. I'm from that true school era, I'm a new school terror and my pen game sicker than his. I spit a furious flow, got a serious show and I know nobody's sicker than this. Cause you could put your favorite rapper in the same ring with me and I knock his ass straight on now. Cause at 165, I'm the heavyweight champ. Now what the fuck them niggas talking about? Wow. Rock with me now, freestyle. Every verse so bad when I defoul. Every verse so around when I now. Barbarian bars, be your whole click main with Caesarian scars. You know the outcome. Big burners when I outgun. Now you billing on your homies trying to outrun. <laughs> Every member in your click till I catch you and I totally dismember your shit I'm from the east coast, salute the west and the south But we all know that I'm the best rapper out Nigga RJ Stone to the motherfucking core True definition of hardcore Yeah Yeah Rusty Jux Rusty motherfucking Jux On Freestyle Drive Season 2 Episode 1 Lebanese Ether, Freestyle Drive, Season 2, Episode 1, with Rusty Motherfucking Jux. Yeah. Brooklyn. Check it out, check it out, y'all. Word. Hey, yo, they said I'm a loser, call me a failure, but I just had a sold out show in Australia. Seven albums deep, nigga, I am an icon. They fucked up the first time they turned my mic on. Strike strong, K fully loaded and dumping. Jokes in your speakers, now your system bumping. Shout out to Detroit, salute Chicago. Dog got my back, every city that I go, I know the streets too well to doubt that. Niggas like to shout that, but I'm really bout that. Barbarian bars keep flowing, fans keep growing. Crayon Heights all the way to the outback, cloud black. World keep spinning regardless. Come to the underground, I am the hardest. Jooks drop ill concepts just to inspire thee. And all I really want you to do is just desire me. Ooh, yeah. Rusty Jooks. International Jooks. Yeah. Brooklyn, Crown Heights. Yeah. To the BX. Yeah. Crown Heights, low. Yeah. Freestyle Drive. Lebanese Ether, Freestyle Drive, Season 2, Episode 1, with special guest, Rusty Motherfucking Jux. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. And why? Said I couldn't do it, make it any more ill Shine like a 24 karat grill Try to make hits, but you lack that skill Jokes black out like a oil you spill G'd up from the flow when my feet up Ease up from the flow when the heat bust Ease back for the slugs from the heat clap Black clap Beat black, ran around the world Fucked a lot of girls garden planting my seeds I paid all my dues and dreams came true And now I'm about to exceed My money stacked a little higher My 16's on fire yeah. I'm torn like a motherfucker, y'all wearing wires Talking my priors, motherfucking liars Listen to the beat when I freestyle You could tell that that's that shit Funny that you face when the gas fit All you gonna see is hat and that's it They said I couldn't do it, make it any more dope Jokes from the seeds with the murder I wrote Try to make this yeah. Yeah. Rusty Jugs, Rusty motherfucking Jugs, man. On the yeah. trap beat, killing that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reverse the time, motherfuckers. Yeah. New York artist is versatile. <laughs> yeah. That shit was dope, man. That shit was dope. Yeah. Rusty motherfucking Jugs. Yeah. Freestyle drive, man. Appreciate that, bro. Staying on, you know. Yeah, Try to switch up the beats a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, you know, I'm an East Coast type of cat, but, you know, beats yeah, is beats, yeah, yeah, instrumentals, yeah, instrumentals, yeah, yeah, MC, you get busy. That's dope, bro. So, anything you want to say to the fans, to people watching, your fans, new fans? Yo, man, salute to everybody that been rocking with me from day one. People that just found out about me, they rocking with me now. You know what I mean? All my jokesaholics, that's what I call them, right. man, worldwide, <laughs> man. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm coming to a city near you, state near you soon. You already know. Alright. Definitely look out for the new project. Where can people check you out online? What's the yeah, man, I'm on I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Rusty Jux357. Okay. Instagram, you already know Rusty underscore motherfucking, motherfucking underscore, underscore Jux. Jux. 
Facebook, I'm Rusty Jokes with the fan page, and, okay. and regular is Victor Evans. You know they make you change your name. Yeah, exactly. So, well, you know, but yeah, no, but that's yeah. my shit. So no doubt. Vic, no doubt. everybody know my shit is Vic anyway. I yeah, say that shit. I see. You go. You go by Vic Clear sometimes, right? Yeah, yeah, is that yeah, one of yeah. your time. names? All right, all the time. I said my name and my shit anyway. I got you. Yeah. So yeah. So you know what I mean? Just fuck with me, man. Y'all, y'all want to get them features knocked out? You know what I mean? You need a Rusty Jokes. Verse hook, mm -hmm, full mm -hmm. joint, you know what I mean? Hit me up, hardbodyhiphop at gmail.com. Okay, hardbodyhiphop at gmail.com. Body, body is B-O-D-I-E, you know what I mean? B-O-D-I-E. You, know what I mean? right. B -O -D -I -E. they should, you know, I would recommend go to your Instagram page, all of them as well, but I see it, you, you can get a lot of information from the IG page. Right. People want to collaborate with you and all that, definitely. Yeah. Appreciate you being on the show, yeah, Rusty man. Jokes. Good looking out, go. man. Thank you. Your joints was amazing. We played some of the old shit, some of the new shit. Yeah. And, you know, and hopefully we have you back on once that once the album drops. You know, we'll have you on for another another spot. Play right, some of your right. new joints, all right? Yeah. Peace, y'all. Slow.